a plague of locusts, earthquakes in diverse places, and weather that has gone completely nuts. Shalom. All praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who have thought it is truth. And peace and mercy unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Whom are you so called? Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners who have the appearance of the other heathen nations, but are Israelites according to the sea land of your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shara Tazah. This lesson is edifying. Now in today's lesson, we will expand upon this article uploaded by the most important news.com entitled A Plague of Locusts, Earthquakes in Diverse Places and the Weather that has gone completely nuts. Published on January 19th, 2020. This is a another sign that we are in fact undoubtedly at the end of the kingdom of the biblical Hebrew Edomites that according to the Bible according to the book of Malachi chapter 1 verse 4 is a wicked in whose hand pursuant to the book of Job chapter 9 verse 24 which the word hand in the Hebrew is Yad which means strength or power the earth has been given into and the Lord told us that he would send plagues, bring plagues upon the world and upon modern-day Egypt, which is America, Babylon the Great. Just as he had done the ancient Egypt, it is almost as if someone flipped some sort of a switch as 2020 began and the Lord showed us a eclipse prior to 2020 if my memory serves me correct I, I believe it was after so called Christmas the Lord showed the elect a sign in the heaven that is an eclipse and according to the scriptures the moon is a tool that is used by the heavenly father Yahweh through son Yahweh Shai to show the elect the times and the things to come the changes in times <clears throat> okay and as soon as 2020 began the year of prophecy in prophecy began to rapidly come to pass and will come to pass we see we started seeing a lot more earthquakes a lot more death a lot more tension in the Middle East things are speeding up It is almost as if someone flipped some sort of a switch as 2020 began because we have been seeing really weird things happen all over the globe so far this year. You have disease, outbreaks in China that's now spread it over here into America, Babylon, the great, at least one case of death. Later, in this article, 
I want to talk about the large earthquakes and strange weather events that, have, that we have been seeing over the past few days. But first I want to discuss the massive armies of locusts that are viciously eating crops in Asia and in Africa. These are the plagues that the Lord is bringing upon the world. As a matter of fact, let's read it and return to the article. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15. Verse 12. As a matter of fact, let's we'll get back to that. But Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 5. Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Now, what are plagues? Hmm? Plague is a disastrous evil or affliction, or affliction, calamity, a destructive, numerous influx or multiplication of a nauseous animal infestation. So the Lord has sent, has sent an infestation. Or pestilences as well. Okay. See, a plague of locusts. That's that's a spirit. Lord, I sent a plague of locusts over there. In Asia and in Africa. Right now, a deadly invasion by millions and millions of locusts. And even in India, it is absolutely devastating farm after farm. And the media in India is calling this locust invasion the worst in over six decades. Well, those are some of the plagues that the Lord is sending upon the earth, man. To punish, first and foremost, the wicked and you heathens. And especially to thirds of his own people. Parts of Gujarat and Rajasthan are in the midst of a deadly invasion by millions and millions of locusts. Leaving the farmers there in distress. The invasion which began in October is said to be the worst in over six decades. According to reports, reporters, excuse me, crops of some 3.6 lakh hectares in 10 districts or as Western Rajasthan have been damaged by the locals so far. Pardon me. The locust warning organization, LWO, said that the current wave of attack was by pink locusts which are flying in from back from Pakistan. As bad as this as bad as things are in India, the truth is that they are even worse in Africa. According to the UN, the desert locusts that have been ravaging fields in Ethiopia and Somalia are now pouring into Kenya. <laughs> the UN has warned of an of a, of a significant and extremely dangerous Escalation in the number of desert locusts descending on Kenya. And that's the Lord increasing the plagues upon the world. Sending the plagues throughout the world. In the form of locusts, in the form of deadly diseases. As the government strives to, to, to contain the threat before it reaches the country's food producing regions, oh, another, another one is famine. That's, a, that's another plague, famine. A lack of bread, a hunger. The tropical grasshoppers have been wrecking havoc on Kenya's neighbors to the north and east, devouring tens of thousands of hectares of crops in Ethiopia and Somalia since last June. Here in the United States, we tend to think of a swarm as a few hundred insects. But over in Africa, these swarms can literally take over an entire section of a country. For example, the FAO says that one of the locust swarms in Kenya measured 2,400 square kilometers. 
Wow. Each square kilometer of locusts in a swarm can eat as much in a day as 35,000 people. <laughs> According to the FAO, one locust swarm seen in Kenya measured 2,400 square kilometers. There is an unprecedented threat to food security and livelihoods across the Horn of Africa, the FA FAO said. I can't even imagine what a 2,400 square kil kilometer locust army would like would look like, but I think that it is a that it is fair to say that it is that it qualifies as a plague of locusts. You see? You see? And as the Lord sending those <clears throat> locusts as judgment. Upon you heathens and upon you jakes that are mingled among them, that refuse to take heed and return back to him through his son. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Meanwhile, earthquakes continue to pop up in unusual places. And now that's a part of the signs that the Lord told us to watch out for. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24. <clears throat> So like here in um in the book of Second Ezra nine actually so like here so Second Ezra chapter nine verse three therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the of the people in the world and are we not seeing earthquakes have we not been seeing earthquakes increasing as of recently. Yes, we have. Then shalt thou well understand that the Mosai, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So the Lord always gave, so the Lord always had the prophets on the scene prophesying of the things to come. It says, For example, ABC News is reported reporting that a magnitude 4.5 quake hit Kansas on Sunday. The U.S. Geological Survey said a magnitude 4.5 earthquake struck about two miles, three kilometers, southwest of Hutch, Hutch, Hutchinson shortly after 1 p.m. The service had initially reported that it was a magnitude 4.4 earthquake, but later upgraded it. And this earthquake comes just a few months after there was a very suspicious swarm of 17 earthquakes in that same area of central Kansas. So there's been a, so there's been a, a swarm of, of 17 earthquakes in the area of central Kansas where a 4.4 magnitude earthquake recently hit. You see? Excuse me, a 4.5 recently hit around that area. And this earthquake comes just a few months after there was a very suspicious swarm of 17 earthquakes in the same, in that same area of central Kansas. The earthquake struck as the Kansas Corporation Commission invest, investigates the cause of a swarm of 17 earthquakes in five days in August, the same area of central Kansas. The regulatory agency's investigation of, is focused on underground disposal of oil field waste that has been blamed for quakes elsewhere in southern Kansas. On the other side of the globe, a very strong magnitude 6.0 earthquake hit Indonesia this weekend, and the Lord has been bringing judgment upon judgment upon judgment upon Indonesia, man. From, from tsunamis to heavy downpours of rain, floodings, earthquakes, and here we have another one, a magnitude 6.0. A strong inland earthquake has struck Indonesia's east, east, easternmost Papua province, and the Lord 
is bringing even more judgment upon you heathens over there in Indonesia. You love to eat dog, cat, gators, and all that shit, snakes. All kind of abominable filth, man. And there's Jake, Jakes that are mingled amongst them. All kind of, all kind of shit y'all like, y'all love to eat, man. You see? It says, but there was no immediate reports of major damage or casualties. The U.S. Geological Survey says the magnitude 6.0 quake was centered 141 kilo kilometers west of Abe Pura, a city at a depth of 33.6 kilometers. But these days, large earthquakes are happening so frequently. Why is that? Because again, second Genesis chapter nine verse three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we do see uproars of the people in the world in France, in Spain, in Chile, Bolivia, Venezuela, even over here in the U.S., America, Babylon the Great, and we see earthquakes. You had seventeen earthquakes in Kansas, plus a recent one. Yeah, you had a earthquake in California not too long from last year. Now you have a recent earthquake also in Indonesia. Men shall doubt well understand that the Most High Yahweh spake of those things from the day that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and end and end, and the end is manifest. And we see that the end is manifest by way of these different phenomenons that have been happening throughout the globe. The plague of locusts, earthquakes, floods, famine, uproars of the people, pestilences. These are all signs that the end is manifest. Okay? A similarity, a similar, excuse me, Similarly, large earthquake just hit China. There you go, even in China. But hardly anyone in the U.S. even knows that it happened. According to reporters, a powerful magnitude 6.4 earthquake has struck in Jiaxi country of northwest China's autonomous Xinjiang. The earthquake was reported to have a depth of 165 meters and took place at 9.21 p.m. local time. Witness, witnesses say... The shaking was felt in the cities of Kashargar and Artux. But this time, there are no reports of fatalities or damage. It is a, the third earthquake that has struck in the southern Xinjiang, China, in the past 47 hours. The third earthquake struck in the same location in the past 47 hours. The quake in China was later downgraded to a magnitude 6.0 event, but this is still very significant. In some parts of the planet, the shaking simply does not stop. Over in the Philippines, hey, now we have over there in the Philippines, from, from central Kansas to the, to, to the Philippines, to China, to Indonesia, there have been more than 400 earthquakes associated with the eruption of Taal Vol Volcano since last Sunday. Since Sunday, a staggering 466 earthquakes have been recorded and, ex and experts warn more eruptions <coughs> excuse me, may still come. Of those quakes, 156 were recorded as being intensely 1 to 4. Pivlux Volcano Monitoring and Erupting Prediction Division Chief Martheon Bornas said, For volcanic earthquakes, this is strong. <clears throat> Reading on, and as I have written about previously, more than 1,000 earthquakes have shaken Puerto Rico. Now we have Puerto Rico. In recent weeks, Many residents continue to sleep outside because they are de deadly afraid that their homes will collapse on top of them. All oh, you proud Ephraimites, man. Well, I'm not going to call you Ephraimites because you're a bunch of niggas. 
All you proud Puerto Ricans over there. Both you men and women, especially you women, man. All you so-called proud, young, bad bitches. The most is going to bring judgment upon all of you, man. All you is like women, the most is going to bring judgment upon the wicked of you. That are slitted for destruction. Have shaken Puerto Rico in recent weeks. Many residents continue to sleep outside because they are deadly afraid that their homes will collapse on them. Excuse me, on top of them while they are sleeping if another big quake suddenly strikes. On top of everything else, global weather patterns continue to go haywire. In Alberta, the weather has actually been colder than it has been on Mars. Wow. The highest temperature recorded on the red planet Wednesday morning was negative 17 degrees Celsius, according to NASA which was still a few degrees above Alberta, where the warmest temperature record was 21.2 degrees Celsius at Nakista Ridge in Kananasaki country. Kanaski country, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. In Caligari, it reached a low of 31, negative 31.2 degrees Celsius. Goodness gracious. Wednesday, early Wednesday, according to Environment Canada, while in Edmont, the mercury dipped to negative 34 degrees Celsius. And along with Mars, Alberta was colder than a number of other well-known spots, like Serbia, which sat at negative 11 degrees Celsius Wednesday morning, and Nuuk, Greenland, which it was negative 12 degrees Celsius. <laughs> So they're experiencing uh, some, some real frigid temperatures over there, man. In the new found land, a devastating blizzard packed wind speeds of up to 98 degree, 98, excuse me, mile power dumped on, dumped an all time record 30 inch, inches of snow on St. John's. <clears throat> Premier Dwight Ball said he had asked for the federal government's assistance including mobilization, mobilizing the armed forces after the blizzard battered eastern Newfoundland. Rob Carroll, a meteorologist with Environment Canada, said St. John's had experienced a one-day snowfall of 76.2 centimeters, 30 inches, breaking the previous record of 68.4 centimeters, 27 inches. On April 5, 1999, on an almost daily basis, we are seeing natural disasters happening happen that are unlike anything we have seen before and that we have witnessed so far is just the beginning. And what we have witnessed so far is just the beginning. Despite all of our ad ad advanced technology, we remain exceedingly dependent on the natural environment that surrounds us. And that naturally and that natural environment is becoming increasingly unstable. Why? Because the end is manifest. We are truly entering uncharted territory and most people cannot even imagine the great challenges that lie ahead for all of us this concludes the article so now let's go back to the scriptures and conclude the lesson book of second Ezra, chapter 9 verse 1 he answered me and said measure thou the time diligently in itself now how do we measure the times diligently in itself we measure the times diligently in itself by filtering the times through the prophecies of the scriptures, the prophecies concerning the destruction of America, Babylon the Great, the destruction of Esau, Edom's, Edom's kingdom. Esau, Edom is a so-called Caucasian race today, okay, beginning with their hegemony. Concerning wars and rumors of wars, uproars of the people, earthquakes in diverse places. Hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis and floods, plagues and pestilences. And plagues and pestilences come in forms such as, as you had read earlier, a locust. You have a recent virus outbreak that has, uh, that has all broken in China and is now spreading throughout the globe. These are all things that we measure 
by way of the scriptures. And when thou seest part of the sign pass, sign of what? The sign of the things happening throughout the world that the Lord told us was going to happen before he returns, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And right now we are in a time in when the Lord will soon visit the world in which he had made. How do we know this? Because again, we are measuring the times diligently in itself by way of filtering the news that we see and that we read by way of the scriptures, by way of the prophecies of the Holy Scriptures. Jacob's trouble is another one. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we do see that. We just read about it. And shalt thou well understand that the Mosai, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, spake of those things, which things from the day that were before thee, even from the beginning. So from the very beginning, the Lord spoke of these things. The Lord ordained these things to happen so that it will be used as a sign Onto the elect to say and to show them, well, look, I'm almost back. I'm going to soon visit this world in which I had made. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and, the, and an end, and the end is manifest, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in, in, beginnings in wonder and powerful works, and endings in effects and signs. So as be the beginning, the creation had great wonder and powerful works, and was comprised of wonders and powerful works, likewise will the end be in great effects and signs. Okay? And so with that, praise the of that fine, to the spread and power of Yahweh, until the next. Shalom, all willing.